Fluff Gaming here with a quick tutorial about modules in Space Engineers. There are three modules you can use, the Yield module, the Speed module, and the Power Efficiency module. The Yield module can only be used on the refinery, and what it does is increases the amount of ingots you get from an individual unit of ore. So if you're short on ore, use Yield modules. You can add up to four modules on the refinery. The other two modules, the speed module and the power efficiency module, can be used on either assemblers or on refineries. Every speed module that you add to either one of those devices will act as if you have another device of the same setup. For instance, if you put two speed modules on your refinery, it's as if you have three refineries. All three of those hypothetical refineries will also gain any abilities that further modules attached to it would have. The same is true for the assembler. The power efficiency module reduces the amount of electricity required by your refinery or by your assembler. You can mix and match these however you please and on the refinery there are a multitude of ways that you can orient them and feel free to do whichever one you like. If you're interested in more details about each of these modules, how they work, and how well they help each of these devices, stick around for the rest of the details. Thanks for sticking around, engineers. As you probably already know, Bluff Gaming stands for bottom line up front, which means we get all the important parts of the tutorial out of the way right off the bat before we follow it up with this extra detail. There are three modules that we can use. There are the yield modules, the speed modules, and the power efficiency modules. All of the modules have generally the same shape. They're all two by one. They do look slightly different, but the shape is always the same. And then on one side of them, they have these two small ports. The small ports are only used by modules and the devices they connect to, either a refinery or an assembler. Your modules can all go on in the same way like this, or if you want, you can change their orientation like so, and they'll still operate just the same. Of the three modules, the yield module is special in that it only works in the refinery, so don't ever try putting a yield module on an assembler, you won't get any effect. Yield modules increase the amount of ore ingots that you get out of the ore that you put into them. So if you're in a situation where you expect to be low on resources, yield modules are the modules for you. If you have four yield modules on a single refinery, it will double the amount of ingots you get compared to a refinery with no yield modules. You might think that just two of them would give you a 50% boost, but it's not exactly a 50% boost. It's actually closer to 40% when you only have two. It's not until you put all four on that it actually fully doubles the amount that you get. It is okay to mix and match. If you want to have some yield modules and the speed module can work on either the assembler or the refinery and each speed module that you put on to either of these makes it as if you essentially have another refinery or another assembler with the same stats. So for instance, right now my refinery has two yield modules on it. If I put this speed module on it, now I effectively have two refineries that have two yield modules on it. This is very useful for instances where either you don't have a lot of materials to build more refineries or more assemblers, but you really need to get more production going through. A more common instance on why you would use speed modules is if you're really cramped for space and you want a lot of production. For instance, in a ship. If you have a ship that you want to be able to refine things and you're not too concerned about power or the amount of ore you use, speed modules are the way to go. You can put four speed modules on a single refinery and it's as if you have five base refineries. 
The power usage does go up with each speed module, but it only goes up by the same amount that a new refinery would cost you, so it's not like you're necessarily getting a bad deal. Finally, we have the power efficiency module. The power efficiency module, as the name suggests, just makes a device use less power. These are most commonly used whenever you have a base or a ship that is solar powered, since you have a lot less power available to you in those instances than you would if you were using a reactor. If you put four efficiency modules on a refinery, then you will be using about one-fifth, or not about, you will be using exactly one-fifth of the power that it would normally use. The first power efficiency module will give you about a 50% improvement on your power efficiency. And they're cumulative after that, not at exactly 50% each, but at a ratio that leads you to having one-fifth of the power consumption once all four modules are on. Now, let's talk about the assembler some. As you can see, the assembler has two module ports on this side, and it appears to have one right here, and then two on this side. This is rather confusing to some people, as you can see it's on this side as well, because it's obvious that you could put a module right there, and another module right there. But what about this location? Are you supposed to have another assembler above it and they share a module like this? Actually, let's take a look at the regular conveyor ports right here. We have this square yellow shape. And then on devices, where you would connect a conveyor, it's a slightly different square yellow and gray shape. Now those look the same either on all the different conveyors or all the different devices, except in the instance of the assembler, where the assembler has its own special port right here. It looks similar to the port on our oxygen generator over there in that we have this yellow box with two yellow lines through the middle but if you take a look in the center, there's an extra round yellow square that is the same shape as that port up there. That's because you can put four modules on a single assembler. So what I've done is I've just put the frames for four speed modules on that one assembler. That essentially has given me five assemblers all taking up the same space that five assemblers would normally take. So why wouldn't you just put five assemblers? Well, primarily because it costs less and uses more common resources to build a module. Also, I don't have to worry so much about any conveyor system issues since they're all connected right here. Speed modules are a fast and easy way to increase your production capability without taking up any more space. You can also put power efficiency modules on an assembler and you get the same returns as you would with a refinery. The yield module, as I mentioned earlier, does not work on the assembler. So that's all I have for now. There's not too much to know about the modules. They're pretty straightforward. They don't take up a lot of space especially when you consider the size of a module compared to a refinery, so I highly recommend you build them as soon as you have the materials available. One thing to keep in mind though on your assembler is that your modules are going to cover the ports that you might commonly use to access your assembler directly. So be sure to either have another port somewhere available, which I do not, or that is connected by conveyor to something you can interact with so that you can get access to the assembler's inventory. Of course, if you're just trying to operate the assembler, you don't have to actually touch the assembler itself. All of that is handled in the production tab here. Well, thanks for watching. 
I hope you come back and watch more of my tutorials. I'll be adding a lot more Space Engineer tutorials over the next couple of weeks. If you have any suggestions on topics you want me to cover, just leave a comment. Or feel free to like or subscribe if you want to see more. Of course, you could also dislike my videos. But if you do that, I'm going to wait until we're off camera. Then go to the Doctors Without Borders website, start to donate to them $3,000, and then right before I'm committing to giving them the money, I'm going to cancel. Thanks for watching, engineers. This has been your bottom line up front, and I hope to see you next time.